Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, February 3rd. Tesla's Cybertruck can power a home with its PowerShare product, but now we're starting to get an idea of the cost. Now, when Tesla unveiled the production version of the Cybertruck late last year, they finally confirmed that it was the first bi-directional charging capable vehicle on their lineup. While Cybertruck deliveries have been going on for a few months, Tesla has yet to start enabling the PowerShare feature. They started sending out surveys about PowerShare to buyers a few weeks ago in order to figure out who would be eligible based on their home and electrical situation. But the main thing that we were missing in all of this was the price. Electrek talked to a few Cybertruck owners and reservation holders who are in the process of getting it installed, and they report an average installation of $4,000. That's pretty high. Now, Tesla products normally have a healthy markup compared to the competition, and we expect there will be some sort of announced features or specifications in the total finished product to assist in the sticker shock. Tesla Cybertrucks are now being delivered without aerodynamic wheel covers installed due to the covers causing excessive wear to tires. The Cybertruck has been pretty unique with their tire and wheel cover layout, with both of them taking angular design cues from the vehicle itself. Now the covers have a seven pointed design and to each point, I mean, it's more like a square thing, they fit into a recessed portion of the tire sidewall, which is designed to accept it. Now, the reason for these is not just for looking neat, but it's also for efficiency. Wheel covers can reduce aerodynamic disturbances by a pretty hefty amount. Now, what's happening is that while driving, tires naturally flex outward at the bottom when contacting the road, and the sidewall of the bulge starts to point out towards the wheel cover, and it is gradually wearing them down. Now, Tesla knows about this issue and is addressing it, but a firm timeline has not yet been set. Users over at the Cybertruck Owners Club claim that Tesla communicated with them that the new caps won't be available until March, but we'll have to wait and see. Tesla has dropped the price of its two Model Y trims in Canada, which now means that buyers of the Model Y all-wheel drive could get up to $12,000 in rebates in Quebec. Oh, I thought that Quebec was its own country especially considering it's an island. But at any rate, this could be big as the dual motor version of the electric SUV is popular in the cold region. The base model now starts at $53,990 Canadian, down 4,000 big ones. And this could be quite attractive in other areas of the country as well. And at electric, we expect to see a surge of Tesla orders across the great white north. Solar electric vehicle startup app Terra has successfully crowdfunded their way into the next phase, or at least continuing their current phase. Aptera co-founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony announced an accelerator program which requested community funding investments from reservation holders starting at $10,000. 13 months later, all of the slots have been filled, and the company has secured nearly $34 million with this program. The initial purpose of the crowdfunding was to give Aptera some upfront cash to purchase the necessary production equipment to build the solar EVs. It will eventually be reimbursed by a $21.9 million grant awarded last year. Now, as of October of 2023, Aptera had acquired over 60% of the essential equipment and tools for the manufacture of their body and carbon. Now, to date, Aptera has raised over $100 million through their crowdfunding efforts in total, and intends to commence production builds in late 2024. They expect to ramp up in 2025. Ford electric vehicle sales fell 11% in January amid slower than expected demand. The Mustang Mach-E led the downfall with sales slipping 50% year over year. Sales of the electric pickup, the F-150 Lightning, were actually quite flat at negative 0.3%. And the news comes after Ford announced that they were cutting the F-150 Lightning production earlier this month. Ford said that the output cut was to, quote, achieve the optimal balance of production, sales growth, and profitability. Now, despite the shutdown, Ford CEO Jim Farley still sees what he calls a bright future with electric vehicles. He said, quote, especially with our upcoming digitally advanced EVs and access to Tesla's charging network beginning this quarter. Hyundai announced a new deal with Ivaco Group to supply an all-electric van based on its global ELCV platform. The Ivaco Badge electric van will be Hyundai's first export to use its new EV platform. Hyundai's dedicated platform is designed for commercial vehicles weighing between 2.5 to 3.5 tons. The architecture features Hyundai's latest tech for next-generation EVs, including a low-floor design. 
Now, Hyundai will build the chassis, and Ivoco will customize the electric van, distributing them through their network. The new Ivoco-badged electric vans will launch at this year's IAA Transportation in September. Polestar's new online configurator is no longer accepting new custom orders for the Polestar 2. And they say that the demand is too high. Now, Polestar has been having a bit of a rough time lately, despite this good news. I guess it's good news. The company's sales were up 6% in 2023, and that's smaller growth than most of the EV industry has seen. In particular, Polestar's fourth quarter numbers ticked down compared to the third quarter, despite first deliveries of a new model, the Polestar 4, which happened in the fourth quarter. Nevertheless, good things are happening too. An urgent update from the Wall Street Journal reports that over 2 million Tesla vehicles had to be recalled because the because the font size of the indicator icons was too small. They had to be greater than 3.2 millimeters. So Tesla did a, a software update already, and it's done. So those 2 million Tesla vehicle safety... Re- uh, oh, gosh. Why do they do this? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't. I'm going home. Forget it. <laughs>